Hi, George here, and I'll be showing you how you can make custom classic skins in Minecraft Bedrock, like I'm wearing right there. We're we'll doing this over in Planet Minecraft. Let's switch over there right now and see how this is done. Okay, here we are on Planet Minecraft, and then go up here to Minecraft, come down, you want the PMC Skin 3D right here, click on that. Go to the Advanced Editor, and I already have a skin loaded in. There it is. If you have a skin to work on, you can load that up here, File, come down to Open File, and here's my collection of skins. I can then load a skin in right from here. Or if you want to make a new skin, go up to File, come down to New Skin. You want the model Steve. There is Steve and Steve Simple. You want Steve. Or if you're doing Alex, that's right here. You can do a high definition skin, then just choose Create, and you get a blank skin. And the first thing you should do is to put on just a couple of eyes. Doesn't matter what color you have, just put a couple of eyes up here. You can change those later if you want to. That's just so you know which side is front and back. So there's a the front side, here's a back side. It looks just the same until you begin working on it. So it's the first thing you do, just put something on here so you know which side is the front. You can then paint in whatever you want. Now I have some other videos about how to paint skins in here. I'll put links for those in the description. But right now I'm just going to be changing an existing skin. So let's go up here to File. And you have two options, either opening up your own file, which we'll do here, or you can get a skin from a Minecraft username if you happen to know their username. But I'll be doing a file, choose yes, and there's my beach skin right there, choose open. I'm using the Steve model, and there it is. And what I'll be doing on this one is just adding in a bit more detail onto it, make it a bit more interesting. There's over here we have two views. This is the regular view, and this is the overlay view. I have the headband there on the overlay. Let's do a little more overlay work. I'll put in an overlay here for some straps onto the shoes. And on these, come down here where it says visible part, open this up. You can show or hide different parts. I'm going to hide the right leg, so you can see just the left leg. I'll now go over to the color, grab the eyedropper tool, and I'll grab that color right there, so that's my base color. And then back over here, I'm going to choose this option here. This will give me some variation on the color. And I'm using the pixel brush right there. And I can then come in here and just paint in like that and put in some straps. But I want to go just one step further on this. And we're looking at the overlay. So I'll click on the overlay here for the left leg. There it is. And I'll put the straps on the overlay. This should make it a bit more interesting looking. You hold the space bar down to move things around. See the overlay is just floating just off of that skin just a little bit. Okay, there's some straps on that side. Let me show this skin again here, either here or from the drop down list right there. And I'll click on the overlay for that. And I'll do the same thing on this side. I'll just put in the straps. There we go. If you want to get the inside part in there, you'll have to hide the legs. So I'll hide the right leg, and I can then see that inside strap, and it's do the opposite leg here, and I'm missing that inside part right inside there. And it's kind of hard to get there with this thing on, and that's on the pants down here. So if I hide the left pants, that hides it, but I can then draw that piece in, and bring the left pants back in again. If I hide the right pants, and it's switch the leg here, and that has that piece drawn in there. So the overlays over here are called the pants. So here's our left leg and our right leg. We have our little sandal straps on. Let's now just put some cuffs on here. Let's put both the arms on like that. Let's hide the middle section. And I'll use the same color. Let's just go around here and go clear down the side like that. You get the inside. There it is. Same thing over here. Just adding a little bit of detail onto this model. We could do a lot more detail, of course. I'm just staying real simple right now for this video. Okay, the cuffs look good. Bring our body back on again. And there it is. We just done a few little adjustments in here for the Steve model. Now, once you've finished painting, if you want to paint on the actual skin, just hide the overlay. You can then paint right onto the skin and then bring the overlay up and then paint on the overlay. So you can go back and forth between those two. The fancier skins, of course, have a lot more overlay stuff on them. I'm just staying real simple here. Okay, now we need to get this over into the game. Come down to where it says download, click on download, and then save this onto your computer someplace. And I'm going to rename this just a little bit here. I'll call it Beach 2 Steve. It's a PNG file. I'll choose Save. That's now on my computer. And I can now go back over to Minecraft Bedrock and get that into the game. Let's see how that's done. Let's just close this down. I'm done with this. Okay, let's now get that new skin placed on here. Hit the Escape key. And you want to go into the dressing room right here. There's my current skin. This is a classic skin. Everything else over here, these are the character creator skins. But we'll be sticking with our classic skin. That's this one. Make sure that the skin you want to change is in the center here. So here it is in the center. Come down to Change Classic Skin. And you can only be using one classic skin at a time. And this is top one here. Click on that. Choose New Skin. There's my Beach Steve too. I'll choose that one. Choose Open. You can go for the thin arms or the thick arms. 
Thin arms is Alex, thick arms is Steve. I'll let you use the Steve model. And there we go, there's our new skin with the new little additions down in there. Okay, now go back over to the game. There it is, looks good. Resume game. And there we go, there's our new Steve skin. And we now have those thongs on there, little straps for the shoes and the cuffs on the sleeves. So real easy to change your classic skin and also to make new skins, of course, over there. And I'll put the links for my videos on how to do new Steve skins down there in the description. If you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.